All right, guys, one more video with this hairstyle. It's going to be a short story. I have no right to the story. Someone else wrote it, okay? There's no reason to be afraid by whoever uh, fights monster. That's the person who wrote the story, okay? So totally enjoy the story. I am not the original writer. Anyway, thank you for watching. When my sister Betsy and I were kids, our family lived for a while in a charming old farmhouse. We loved exploring its dusty corners and climbing the apple trees in the backyard, but our favorite thing was the goats. We called her mother because she seemed so kind and nurturing. Some mornings, Betsy and I would wake up, and on each of our nightstands, we'd find a cup that hadn't been there the night before. Mother had left them there, worried they would get thirsty, that we'd get thirsty during the night. She just wanted to take care of us. Among the house whose original furnishings was an antique wooden chair, which we kept against the back wall of the living room. Whenever we were preoccupied watching TV or playing a game, Mother would inch that chair forward across the room towards us, something she'd managed to move it all the way to the center of the room. We always felt sad putting it back against the wall. Mother would just want to be near us. Years later, long after we moved, I found an old newspaper article about the farmhouse's original occupant, a widow. She'd murdered her two children by giving them each a cup of poison just before bed. Then she'd hanged herself. The article included a photo of the farmhouse's living room with a woman's body hanging from a beam. Beneath her, knocked over, was the old wooden chair placed exactly in the center of the room. Very scary story. That was actually a good story. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye now. Horror Stories with Melina on Halloween. Bye now.